Hello guys, it's Flaming Gamer Girl here, and today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft all about, which is where I tell you all about in a block or a mob or um, whatever. But Minecraft all about, and this Minecraft all about is obviously about horses. So I have some horses set up in this pin right now. I'm going to be telling you all about horses. So first, horses are peaceful um, mobs that can be tamed and um however once you tame them unlike the ocelot and um wolf tame they don't follow you around unless you use a lead rope as you can see here which is um made of string and slime balls or if you have a saddle which can be found in dungeon and the only way you can ride horses is if you tame them and to tame an animal what you do is you get on this random one you get on and um they pretty much just have to walk around. This is only with horses. So you tame them, just keep getting on and off, and they'll kick you off. You just gotta keep doing that until they, it shows hearts. Sometimes you don't see the hearts. As you can see, horses can push other animals. Oh, and it's tamed. When you know it's tamed, you press E, and um, this little uh, pop up pops up. And you can put the saddle on by left clicking it, and then the horse will follow what you need. And the horse can, with use of the space bar, if you hold down the space bar, there will be a meter. You see right below my inventory that shows like the meter, and they can jump over blocks. Let me get some grass. Let's see, oops, there's a grass block. I was gonna show you that horses can easily jump over grass blocks of the height of one. I'm not sure about two, but I'll check. Let's see. You might need speed or something, but that didn't really work for me. But, um, uh, that's pretty much it. And to find horses, it's in the plain or savanna biome. And there's also donkeys and mules. And when you use a spawn horse, they get a 9 out of 10 chance it's going to be a horse. Oh, and a that one was a baby donkey, and you know it's a donkey because mules have to be specially bred. But to make it grow, you get a golden apple. This works for horses too. Right click, it gets a size bigger. Right click, bigger. Right click, bigger. Right click, bigger. Right click, and right click one last time, and it's a full grown mule. Now, the same thing is with taming mules. So, this one, I feel like, I don't know, mules just always seem to come tamed. So you're going to get your saddle, which is under transportation, and right click on the horse or mule, and then you um, right click and keep that on. Now, another bonus about having donkeys or mules is if you right click on them with a chest, it does add chest, and when you get on the horse, press E, you can add stuff to your horse, get off. Go do whatever you have to do, get back on, it's still going to be right there. Which is pretty handy. And um, the spawn horse egg is brown with yellow spots. I got a lot of horses in here. There are 35 different types of horses. Even though I bet you I could have found all of them. I have not seen all of them, but if I wanted to, I could probably just keep spawning until they all show up. I chose not to. But now I'm going to show you how to make a mule. And I'm pretty sure with mules you have to um, breed a donkey and a um, horse. So you go right click with wheat on one. Ah, I keep getting on horse. Sorry about that. having some trouble. Maybe it's because they're sad. No, nope, they don't even have that. That's fine. Um, the only thing is once you put chest on to a donkey or mule, I'm not sure if you can get them off. I don't know why, but I, I don't know. Now, when you kill wild horses, they don't give you food. 
I feel bad about killing one. Uh, let me find one that there are multiple of. This one, you kill it. Often, a leather, up to like three leather, or nothing at all, will show up. Uh, no food, not really useful. I guess for leather armor, but also when you kill cows, you get leather. Leather, as you can tell over here, uh, you get leather and raw beef. Um, yeah. And you can also use a name tag, which is pretty simple, where you put your name tag into a chest, not a chest, an anvil. You can name horses the same as other animals. Now, for horse armor and lead ropes, I told you about lead ropes. I, uh, I'm not sure if I did. It's with um, string and sign balls. And uh, lead ropes, you right click on the horse and the horse will follow you even if it's tamed or not. Um, okay, so armor. Let me get another saddle. Horses can wear armor, and they do have health bars, so saddles, that's what a horse looks like with a saddle. It also comes with a bridle on the face. It's just tax. Click on the horse and add some diamond armor, and these both can only be found in the dungeons. Diamond armor looks like that. And then there's iron armor. Which also looks very nice. And gold armor, which stands out the most. Uh, obviously diamond is the best. Now on this horse, I'm going to put the iron again, because the coloring is what the iron looks like. And uh, horses do get hurt, so they are hit by mobs and stuff. Yeah, but there are 35 different types of horses. And, um, there can also be skeleton horses and undead or zombie horses with, um, commands. Which I can show you different times. You can always look that up on Minecraft, um, Minecraft Wiki. They have tons more information about horses, but... Ugh. Get rid of my golden apple. And you can feed horses carrots, apples, and golden apples. And I'm pretty sure, if not certain, oh, I'm so sorry, that you can give them hay. And it's very possible that hay makes them bigger. So, yes, hay makes, um, Horses bigger, and I'm pretty sure so does carrot, apple, sugar, etc. But that's my um, Minecraft all about. And this is all about horses, mules, and donkeys. And um, for more information, check out the description box. We'll put the link to Minecraft Wiki about horses. And you can check out all the different 35 different types of horses. And I just realized I didn't forget to, I forgot to tell you something. So I'm going to show you something real quick. It's obviously riding a horse. So. Uh, to ride a horse, if it's tacked up, you obviously need to break the fence post with the lead. Let's go ahead and grab that. Clear our inventories. The horse does need to have a saddle to, does not need to have a saddle to be ridden, but it does need to have a saddle to be controlled. So, um, horses can jump with the space bar. And the same command, which is W for me, um, the same as walking, you can walk on your horse. Uh, shift gets you off, and this works on the same for, um, I don't have a side on this one, but donkeys. And, uh, as you can see, when you're on here with the chest, again, all this space, um, which is, now I need to show you about chests on so right click on a mule or donkey not horses to add chests and when you get on the horse I mean donkey or mule there's this big open space for you to put stuff so you can put a chest get off the horse go fight some ender dragons get back on it's still gonna be there which is just good for extra storage and I'm pretty sure it's yes 15 so that it does add nicely to your 40 that's uh, 55 storage spaces which is pretty nice 
Um, but again, <laughs> for real this time, that is all my Minecraft all about horses. And remember to comment, like, rate, subscribe, leave requests for more all about tutorials, um, leave uh, your Minecraft server, maybe I'll film some stuff on there. But remember to uh, keep on playing.